Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your love reading for August. We are looking into what's coming your way for the rest of the month of August for love. And stick around towards the end, Gemini. I will be getting each zodiac sign's actions towards you for the month. So let's get started into it and see what your overall energy is. And we have patience. We have security and annoyance. All right, Gemini, I feel like you may be making somebody wait. I feel like somebody's waiting on you. Some of you could resonate with this the other way around. You may be waiting on someone else. Despite who's waiting on who, I feel like they're waiting on you. I feel like the more this person is waiting for security with you, the more this person waits for more offers or communication from you, I feel like it's the more and more that they get annoyed. Um, some of you, there could be some sort of disharmony here. Some of you may be annoyed at how somebody is making you wait for more security or offers in this connection, but it definitely looks like somebody is not really feeling that great over the weight around this situation. It's making this person feel insecure, or it could be making you feel insecure about the stability of this connection. So I feel like somebody's bothered I feel like for a lot of you, it's the other person. For some of you, it could be you. But let's see what we have in the tarot. And see what's going on here. We have the Five of Cups. The Hermit. The King of Wands. What's coming your way for love is the Queen of Wands. And the outcome is the Magician. Yeah. So, Gemini, you have the Five of Cups of the Hermit. So, I feel like you have been to yourself. Whether you are in a connection or a relationship or not, I definitely feel like your focus has been a lot more on you than on the other person. And I feel like this person is feeling quite neglected by you. Or there is a very high possibility that this person has been focused a lot more on themselves than on you. And you may be feeling some neglect. So I'm feeling like there's one specific message for this reading it's just figuring out which person you are, which shouldn't be that hard if you know yourself, right? Um, who's coming your way is the Queen of Wands. So the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands. This person feels like they are your match. This person feels like you two belong together. So I feel like you're making this person wait. And the Magician as the outcome... I feel like you are in the position of creation. What do you want from this person? Do you want just an intimate connection? Do you want something more secure? Do you want something more stable? Are you just having fun right now? Um, there's a lot of up in the air energy, but there's a lot of attraction here between the two of you. But I also feel like there could be a lot of annoyance or irritation between the two of you as well. Let's clarify this. We have the Knight of Swords, we have the Emperor, we have the Hierophant, we have Justice, and we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants your love, Gemini. I feel like this person feels like they've been trying to talk to you, or you may have been feeling like you've been trying to talk to this person. I'm going to read it as the way I feel it, but if you feel like it's vice versa for you, it could be vice versa for you. But the way that I'm feeling it is that somebody feels bothered by the weight that you're putting on the connection. If you feel like you're the bothersome energy, then just while I'm reading it, you're the other person. But I personally feel like for a lot of you Geminis, you are in the power position of this situation on where it's going. And I feel like this person does not necessarily feel like you are making decisions to commit stronger to them. King of Wands to the Hierophant. This person wants more of your commitment. This person wants more of your attention. This person wants more of your energy. And I feel like they're really bothered by the fact that they're not getting it. 
with the Queen of Wands to Justice, I feel like this person may try to attention seek in some way, shape, or form to try to get more of your attention. Or I definitely feel like they're coming in and they want things to be balanced. They may be a bit angry, they may be a bit frustrated, but nonetheless, this person wants things to be more balanced between the two of you. The outcome is the Magician to the Six of Cups. So I definitely feel like somebody really cares about you, they really love you, and they want to show you that. It's really all up on if you will allow this person to show you that. Some of you, there could be some sort of children involved between the two of you. But nonetheless, I feel like the attraction's really there. And the chemistry is there. But I feel like so is the anger of this situation. You two may know how to push each other's buttons. Things like that. Let's clarify this one more time for you here, Gemini. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Yeah. So this person wants more offers from you. This person also wants to bring you more offers. But I feel like they really want these offers to be accepted by you. I really, really feel like somebody wants a totally new start here with you, Gemini. They want to start on a clean slate. They want to really move forward and just... Pretend like you two just met each other yesterday type of thing. But I don't know. You you look very stubborn. You look like you're a hard one to catch here. You look like you're not letting anybody in easily. Um, with the Magician to the Six of Cups to the Two of Wands is your outcome. Some of you may decide to give some of your love to this person. Some of you may decide that you don't want to. Nonetheless, I feel like you're making a decision on if you want to love someone. Queen of Swords, like I said, this person, I feel like they're a bit pissed off. Queen of Wands is there as well. Queen of Swords is just showing it even more. Why is the Two of Wands here as the outcome? Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to give to this connection, but I still feel a weight around it for some reason. So I feel like you may start talking to this person more or seeing this person more, but I don't necessarily see you offering more or vice versa. This person may want to see you more, be around you more, but I feel like their offers may not be that grand. There still could be a weight around stronger offers that you want to give or stronger offers from this person. So that's what I have here for you, Gemini, for August. In terms of zodiac signs, you have Virgo, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Taurus. So let's see what we have here for you in the second half of the reading, all the way from Aries to Pisces, each zodiac sign's actions towards you. I'm telling you, this person's really missing you, Gemini. They're really longing for your energy. Here we go. We have Aries' actions towards you as the Five of Cups. So Aries feels really disappointed and really depressed and sad over this connection. They may tell you that or they may make that aware towards you this month. We have Taurus as the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Taurus wants to be stable for you. I feel like Taurus wants to settle down with you. I feel like there's a very high possibility of Taurus offering more of their stability or showing you that they could be more stable for you. We have Gemini as the Queen of Wands. Um, Queen of Wands goes for what they want, so I definitely feel like a fellow Gemini will be pursuing you or trying to pursue you in whatever way, shape, or form. Um, they definitely want to see this connection move forward, and they absolutely want to get closer to you, this fellow Gemini. Next up is we have Cancer with the Knight of Pentacles, so it could be a weight around a Cancer. They may be taking action very slowly or not taking much action at all. Some of you feel like there's a lot of patience needed with a cancer. I feel like they see you as stable, but I feel like they still want to wait things out before they offer more to this connection. So you may feel like you're in a waiting position with a cancer. Next we have is Leo's actions towards you as the Knight of Wands. So Leo's definitely coming in with some flirtation, some charm. I definitely feel like Leo wants things to be exciting with you or exciting with you again. I feel like Leo really wants to have fun times with you and they're going to take more action and trying to do that. If you feel like you've been dealing with an in and out Leo, Leo may be making their way back in in August. 
Next we have is Virgo as the tower. So there's a surprise coming from a Virgo. It looks like they are going to shock you somehow, some way this month, Gemini. So be prepared for a surprise from a Virgo. Next we have is Libra with the star. I feel like Libra is going to attempt to heal things with you this month. They're really wishing and hoping for healing with you. I feel like they want to have a much better energy with you, more harmonious, possibly less destructive or argumentative. Next we have is Scorpio as the hanged man. So Scorpio's pretty stuck on what type of action they should take towards you, if they should take action towards you at all. So there could be some stagnancy or weight around a situation with a Scorpio. I don't feel like they really know what to do with this. I don't feel like they know what to do or what to say. So there, may, there could be some non-movement from a Scorpio or very minimal. Sagittarius with judgment. So it looks like Sagittarius wants a second chance here with you. Or they want a decision to be made in this connection. Strong second chance energy with a Sagittarius. We have Capricorn as the King of Pentacles. So if you are not in a stable connection with a Capricorn, I feel like Capricorn is going to try to show you some more stability. Try to show you that they are settled and they are grounded and they are a good person to be in a connection with. Could receive some more stability from a Capricorn. We have Aquarius as the Two of Swords. So Aquarius is pretty indecisive about this connection. I feel like they don't really know what to do here. So there may be some up in the air energy with an Aquarius. They may be going back and forth on if they want to open up their heart to you this month. And we have Pisces as the Hermit. So um, the Hermit does not take action. The Hermit stays to themselves. So I don't really see Pisces taking any action towards you this month. Some of you, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, you two may just not be like leaving the house as much this month. Others of you, I just don't get any action from Pisces or not much at all. They're focusing on their solitude and their healing. So let's make sure everybody's out here for you, Gemini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Thank you, my beautiful Geminis. Do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We are active again on this channel. So definitely notify, turn on those notifications so you are alerted of when a new Gemini reading is released. Do not forget to check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs on the channel as well. And Gemini, we do have blessed bracelets going in any kit purchased from my manifestation kits on my Etsy shop. They are free. You do not have to pay for them. They are going in any kit that's purchased for the month of August and September. So if you're interested in receiving a blessed bracelet, check my Etsy shop out and all you have to do is purchase one of the kits, either the Wish Flash Paper for $8.88 or you could do the bigger kit if that's something that you're interested in. We also are giving out customizations for these kits. So if you want your kit to be customized to the Zodiac Sign Gemini, we have like cute little Gemini constellation stickers, things along those lines. So if you do want your kit to be customized, when you click on whatever kit you'd like, you'll see a drop down of all 12 Zodiac signs. Just click the Zodiac sign you want to customize it before you purchase. If you forget to do that, you can write a note to me and let me know. So thank you, my beautiful Geminis. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you are at in the world. Bye now.